Hi there everyone, another moment with Sue and this time we have a revisit, a, a re reappearance from the wonderful Harry Maragos um, and it's a really bad time to shoot this because we have just come out of the last session of the FPA Congress. I'm sure I've got no money, no makeup on left, <laughs> probably no money either. We just listened to Michael Crossland. You want to get some perspective in your life? Oh my goodness, look up Michael Crossland, YouTube videos, amazing man doing incredible good in the Real world. Teacher. Oh yes, not a dry eye in the house. But that's not what we're talking about. We are, I wanted to grab you because um, you've had some really good little snippets, some little things that Harry adds into his advice process. Um, and I just want to share them because number one, we talk about value proposition for advisors all the time. You know how important it is. We talk about it in the sense of two things. Number one, it's the language you use, the, the words that you use to market and articulate your value. But maybe more importantly, it's also the stuff you stick in your value proposition. So if you say that you're going to I don't know, look after young families, make better financial decisions, and you want to make sure that you're giving cash flow coaching and you're taking care of their risk needs and so forth. So, two ideas. Well, actually, there's probably three. One was about people that you help with finance. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what, what do you, I'll oh, stop talking. What do, you, what do you do there? So, we actually got this idea from um, one of the uh, um, people that we mentor and coach back home. Uh, shout out to Belinda Jane. Um, she okay. runs uh, workshops in terms of um, fix my credit or um, um, improve my credit to help mums and dads uh, because it's so difficult in the current environment to uh, obtain um, lending um, and home loans. So um, it's, a, it's a great way to be able to make sure that you uh, assist people um, just with the first starts in, in getting lending. Mm, so you check their credit? Correct. So we actually assist them and um, go through the process uh, to check their credit and um, how can they improve it? Um, are there things on there like outstanding bills? Um, sometimes lenders or utilities um, don't actually remove inquiries. Or one that we had a couple of years ago was where a, a young lass, um, she almost had a home loan decline, but uh, her um, uh, someone had stolen her purse and um, she had a police report and all that sort of stuff, but the telco company didn't remove the inquiry from her accounts. Right. But what we did was um, we made sure that we checked it and uh, rather than do it from a lending perspective, we uh, spoke with the telco, they went, oh, sorry, we forgot about it. Mm -hmm. And we removed it and awesome. uh, she was able to secure funding. So even if you're not doing lending for your clients, if you yes. have got clients that you know they're about to borrow yes. money, then that's a great thing to add. Yeah. The other two things that we I love about finding lost money. Yes. So again, natural part of your process, your client comes to you with a fact find of the information that they know of about their finances. Mm -hmm. Two extra things you can add to that. So um, there is uh, lost money and We've even been recipients of this, uh, my wife and I, we sold a, a house and bought a house recently and uh, the utilities providers, again the utilities providers and some of the lenders, when they go through their settlement process, what happens is they don't actually know where you've moved to and they pay things, um, uh, if, the, if you've paid too much on your gas, your telephone, your electricity bill, they simply pay it to lost unknown claim monies. Now we've found thousands, quite literally, thousands of dollars for clients. Fantastic. And there are so billions of dollars uh, there. Sitting there? Yes. So you Google it and it's different per state? It's different. It's, it's okay, so state. lost and unclaimed monies. Yes. And the other one that I hope most advisors already do, of course, is lost super. Yes, absolutely. Now, um, it, you, we have to go through the process of setting up a MyGov account, mm -hmm. um, but there are, in many circumstances, uh, people with lost super out there. Mm -hmm. um, so it's important that we do um, do what we say we're supposed to do. Um, and that's doing a, a full and complete job. And especially with uh, uh, so much um, so much of us under the microscope and so much, so much of what we do, it's important that we, we do what we say we do. Enjoy that we extra month as well. Fantastic. No as worries. always, fabulous ideas. Thanks, Harry. It's about to get noisy. See you later.